Keep them safe. All right, guys, let's open it up for questions. Y'all set this close, you know what I'm saying? Danny probably ain't gonna never get one, so. Gotta let him see it as much as we can. Shut up, dude. I, Let's go. I, I don't even need to ask anything. I just point at you guys and let you guys take it away. I mean, he's a bitch. He knows he's a bitch. He knows I'm coming in three weeks from tonight in Connecticut. Uh, I'm going to murk his fucking face off. I hope he makes it past three fucking rounds. That's what I give him. I give him three rounds. I think I finished him in the third, but if he does get past the third, I will give my respects to him, but I don't see him making it past the third fucking round. Who in oh. your life have you finished? In your life. I just said I'm going to fucking finish you. Who, who, who in your... Oh, you what just going to finish what me? To do who you got to do something that you've never done before against somebody that's way better than you, bro. Okay, okay. What the fuck okay, you going to do? What are you going to do? How are you going to murder my face off? I'm going to cut when you, your face. You, you're you cut get a, tired. You've you, never been five rounds before. I'm going to get tired. I'm not going to give you my fucking game plan up here, bro. I mean, it don't matter if you got my game plan or not because you are terrible at fighting. You don't have a game plan. You, you don't specialize in anything. You're terrible. What you mean? I specialize in wrestling. I, I'm a two-time national champion. I also knocked out your homeboy, uh, Juan Archuleta. I'm the Bellator MTM champion. Um, you were losing the fight before you knocked out Archuleta. But what I do? I knocked him out. What you gonna beat me and then what you gonna say after I knock you out? What you gonna say? Like, I was, I was winning the fight. She, I almost had him. I think that was my question. Just let him go. Oh, okay. This is this. Uh, I like, man, I like talking to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Daniela Sabatella. I like to call him Daniela now, you know what I'm saying? Because he likes to do his hair. <laughs> he likes to do a little makeup, I think, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just fun for me. This is, I, I'm having a blast, bro. How long and have you been waiting to say that? I, I've been saying it for like that a couple weeks. That was scripted. He scripts all his shit. That's why he stutters it, all the I, I've been time. Saying it, I've been saying it for a couple weeks because I've been thinking about it. Like, you I like know. a girl. You like a little girl. So, Daniela so, Sabatella, you like that? I love it. So yeah. for each of you in three weeks after this is done, I mean, how hyped will you be for, for the next, uh, for the next opponent in terms of the trash? Well, I'm going to be hyped up for the championship of this grand prix for sure. Uh, whether it's Magomed or Apache, I don't really give a fuck. They both fucking suck. Um, obviously this is the best fight there is in the tournament. Um, our side is obviously better. He already beat Magomed. Um, I'll definitely be hyped up for that fight, but I'll still never like this fucking guy. I just feel like we're just totally two different opposite people. You go on Instagram, you go on Twitter, you see him always commenting, liking everyone's shit. He wants to be buddy, buddy with everybody. He wants everybody to like him. I'm the exact opposite. I don't give a fuck whether you like me. That's awesome. If you don't like me. I don't give a fuck. Uh, he just needs everybody's approval. That's just very different from me. And then obviously his style is very different from me. He's a shitty fighter. I'm a good fighter. Um, and yeah, I, I just don't think we'll ever see eye to eye. Yeah, we definitely won't see eye to eye, but it's because people like me and he's upset. He's jealous that people like me. People don't like his stick. Um, and that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? You're an ugly person. You know what I mean? And, and, and people don't like that, unfortunately, for you. Uh, great for me. You know what I mean? But um, that's just yeah, what it, it is. It is good for you. Um, you're fighting me. It is good. This is making your career. This is People awesome. are gonna get this behind is, your back because easy. you're fighting me. People this is wanna super see me knocked easy. out. They're not gonna remember your name after this fight. Yeah, and once you get knocked out, everybody be happy. So I get to give good people good feelings. So that's that's great. Cool. Kay Williams for Ken Chronicles Media. You know, Stotts, it's been well documented that you've been calling out Sabatello for quite some time now. And there's a quotable you said you can get behind him. Um, Punching him in the mouth because yeah. you pretty much don't like him. Yeah, Appro can, approaching ahead. this fight is it more on a professional tier or is this all personal? I mean, it's business as usual for me, but this just it adds more chips for me, which is like fun for me. Like, oh man, you gonna talk shit? So now when I beat the f the crap out of you, I don't know if I'm supposed to cuss or not. But uh, after I beat the fuck out of you, you know what I mean? It's just it's just more satisfying, you know what I mean? So if I was to whoop you on the street or something, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I stick my foot in your face in the mud, you know what I mean? So uh, just like an extra little umph, you know what I mean? So um, I'm still training like normal. I'm still, you know what I'm dangerous everywhere. It's just uh, a little bit extra, you know, uh, spice. Rafian, Zayz was saying with Columbia Chronicle, what's your prediction for this fight? Do you see it going long or do you see him getting out of there early? Uh, I see me whooping his ass probably in the second round. I would say second round just because he's going he's gonna to try to wrestle. And then once he realizes he can't wrestle with me or he can't do what he needs to do, it's going to be a long night and it's going to get old fast for him. And I don't think he's ready for that. What's your prediction? So what's your prediction? I just said, I'm going to get you out of there in a second. 
Okay. Danny, after your victory at Bell Tour 282. I was listening. I don't know. You just rumble and stutter and talk. I don't know what the fuck you were saying. Sorry, what? Danny, over here. After your victory at Bell Tour 282, you said that Stotts is an easier stylistic matchup for you than Higo or Jernel Lugo. Do you stand by that? Standard? Yeah, 100%. He doesn't specialize in anything. You know, uh, Higo is just absolute stud on the ground. His jiu jitsu game is absolutely legendary. When you go up against a guy like that, you got to be really calculated and very careful. He's waiting for you to slip up so he can get your fucking neck or get your arm or your fucking leg or whatever. So you got to be very careful. You can't open up too much because that's what he wants. You don't want to fall into somebody else's game plan. You know, a lot of these fighters lose fights because they're fucking stupid. I'm one of the smartest fighters there are. A bunch of other things as well. You know, I got good conditioning. I'm very tall for the weight class. I'm very quick. I got grappling, obviously. I'm going to show my striking off in this fight. But so he was very hard because he could finish the fight at any point. And in MMA, that just happens in a blink of a fucking eye. But with him, he doesn't specialize anywhere. He's okay on the feet. He's okay on the ground. And he's just a little bitch. So I got nothing to fucking worry about with this guy. He can't fucking finish me. So I think it is just a little bit of a stylistic, easier matchup. Um, he's also never been five rounds. His conditioning isn't going to be able to hold up. Uh, I don't care if Bro, he knows you, that. Okay, shut the fuck up. You keep saying that. I've been five rounds knows. before. Uh, I've been five rounds uh, two times in my career. Uh, I, I don't stalk your career like that. You know, <laughs> well, you don't do your homework, and that's why you're getting knocked the fuck out, because you don't know me. And you should know me. You should know somebody that's going to beat the shit out of you. You should, you should, easy you should fight. do that. I don't need to do shit. <laughs> I've watched like two of your fucking fights. Mm -hmm. The only thing that sticks out on the page is you're a little bitch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. So, so what, what was that? Um, he goes so good. He's he's a BJJ practitioner, and I just had to watch out for everything. What, you were scared. You were scared to fight him, so that's why you fought like a bitch. Because you were scared. Ass. Uh, you I'd laid you angry. laid on him and, and yeah, wasted time, very good wasted everybody's it. time and money. And last question, real quick: Will either of you incorporate? some Detroit urban survival tactics into your training camp, Dale Brown. And then also, will you guys shake hands after the fight, win, lose, or draw? Um, I mean, I hope I learn a thing or two from this guy that's actually awesome that he's fucking here. I'm pretty hyped up. Uh, but after the fight, you know, after I beat the shit out of my opponents, you know, it, it's not really bad blood. Uh, obviously, again, I don't see us ever seeing eye to eye. But after my fights are done, I immediately have my eyes on the next guy. And especially in a tournament setting like this with the Grand Prix, when you already have your opponent lined up next, my eyes will already be on Magomed or Apache the second that that bell fucking rings. Um, again, I, I don't like the guy. I'm going to try to fucking murder his face off. He's never actually had an opponent go in there that actually wants to kill him like I do. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I can't, I can do a lot of things. I can't tell the future. Maybe there will be bad blood after. Maybe there won't. I don't know. Um, so after the fight, uh, to answer your first question, uh, I don't need to like, incorporate survival training because all he's gonna do is try to hug my legs the whole round you know what i mean every round he's gonna try to hug my legs so i don't really need that's i, I feel like that's above his pay grade you know what i mean so uh I, I probably won't shake his hand to be honest with you i don't like to do you know what i mean so uh probably not gonna be no shaking hands i'm gonna probably party on him um that's just what's gonna happen that's just how i feel um sportsmen not alike i i just don't like him so uh, what's up, guys? One last question for you guys. Uh, what's the one thing that you guys most respect about each other? I know you guys don't like each other, but if you had to pick one thing that you guys most respect about each other, what would it be? I would say the way he sticks to being a bitch. You know what I mean? He sticks to it hard. You know what I mean? Like his, his stick, my style. He's, he sticks to it. I would say he sticks to it. He sticks to it really well. You know what I mean? So uh, I, I admire that, you know, that you can be a bitch 100 percent of the time. That's crazy, bro. I mean, it's Congrats. cool that he's going to be able to say that he fought the best bantamweight that has ever lived. So he will always have that under his belt that he's fought me. Um, I know it'll be a little bit of a look at the crowd when you book. say ridiculous when, shit like that. Dude, look at people. That's 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 why people don't like you. Four years old when we do this shit. You always interrupt me. Why are you four years old? When because we do I'm this the champ. Because you're so fucking do what nervous. The fuck I want right to do. now. Knees fucking shaking. You're like a little bitch. Are you that I'm nervous? I'm excited. I'm excited to hurt you, bro. We got three weeks. Yeah, I'm excited. It's, I can't wait. This question is for both of you. There's obviously been some really legendary Bellator rivalries in the past several years. Would you say that this fight between you two is the chance to be the biggest male Bellator fight in the history of the promotion? And if so, why? 
Yeah, uh, not just inside the bantamweight division, but I think this will be the biggest fight of the entire year throughout all of Bellator. Um, I think Bellator bantamweight division is really getting the respect that it deserves. It's the best division across all of MMA. You look at our top five, top seven guys, and it's just absolutely stacked. We would beat any other promotion. So just from a pure skill standpoint, I think we are going to get the respect and, and the rivalry will be very big. But also just because of our personalities, you know, I make guys bigger when they fight me you know the spotlight is on them more you know nobody knew who Stotts was before he fought me he's 34 years old he's been in this game for fucking ever nobody knew who he was everybody's saying oh Stotts came out of nowhere no he came out of nowhere because now he's fighting Danny Sabatello so yeah I do think it'll be an absolutely massive fight um but we'll see I have literally more followers than you on every platform <laughs> so that's false news try again <laughs> Commander Brown, I'll have you stay in the middle. Thank you. Face the cameras, please. Thank you. All right. All right. You guys have a wonderful night. <laughs> <laughs>